All right, what's up, you guys? We are here with another wrestling trivia video. And uh, what we figured we would do this time is pick our favorite or one of our favorite wrestlers and see what the other person knows about our wrestler. So I chose Chris Benoit, and you want to tell us who you chose? The late, great Owen Hart. Yeah, I'm a Bret Hart guy, so I'm probably going to fail this miserably. So, all right. Um, if you want to go ahead and reintroduce yourself and tell us what your channel is. What's up, you guys? Dan the Beast 94 here, coming back at you with the DVD Freak. Link in the description down below for my channel. So if you guys want to go follow, by all means, help yourselves. All right, let's do this. I'll ask uh -huh. you the five Benoit questions, and we'll see see where we go from there. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. What was Chris Benoit's final televised match? Um, ECW against Elijah Burke. Yep. All right. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. This this may be an easier one, but we'll ask it anyway. Where was yeah. Chris Benoit born? Um, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Montreal, Canada. Montreal. Wow. Really? Okay. Yeah. Montreal. Okay. Yeah, Montreal, Quebec. All right, so question number three. In April of 1995, Chris was forced out of Extreme Championship Wrestling. Why could he not compete anymore? Um, didn't it have something to do with his visa? Yep, his, yep, yep. his work visa expired. Yeah, I, I figured. And then after that, um, what, like a month or so after he ended up jumping the WCW? Mm-hmm. Okay, Chris Benoit, obviously, we all know his one child's name. What were his other two kids' first names? Uh, I feel like he had three kids, though. I could have sworn he had, like, a daughter, too. Yeah, I'm the only he had, son yeah, he, yeah. Had, he had two other kids, other than uh, Daniel. Okay, so... One was obviously David. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the other one, I want to say her name. I feel like it starts with an M. I'll just start guessing. I feel like her name is... Uh, let, let me do this to Drake and Josh way. Megan. Yes, that's it. What? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and finally, <Wow. laughs> I didn't think you were going to get that one because it's, oh, um, oh my God. Yeah. For some reason I was thinking Melissa or I was thinking, oh, why was I thinking Morgan? It was either Morgan or Melissa, but I'm like, let me try Megan because that just seems suiting. What is Chris Benoit's middle name? <laughs> oh, man. And I'll, um, I'll give you a hint. It's my middle name as well. So there you go. I don't even think I know your middle name. Um, no, 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 you don't. <laughs> no one does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people um, on my channel. People on my channel don't even know my first name, let alone my middle name. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, is it Michael? Yes, it is. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> was, was that a complete guess? That was a complete guess. And the only reason I was thinking that is because I was thinking of his father, because his father's name was Michael Benoit. Yep. yep. So, wow. What is that? Five for five or four for five? Four. He, uh, the oh, only one he didn't four. get right was um, his birth, um, his um, place of birth. Wow. Definitely a better start than last week. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, uh, all, right, all right. I'm proud of myself for that one. Definitely. 
All right. So to get started with the uh, the late great Owen Hart questions now. Oh, so the first one off the back. Um, this is gonna be a true or false question. Um, y- you might think like, okay, what kind of question is that? But here we go. True or false? Owen Hart has won a Royal Rumble match. True. He won the Dark Royal Rumble match. Yes. So, if you guys don't know, I believe the date was January 17th of 1994. Probably like a week or so before uh, the actual event occurred. Um, They had a dark or a house show at Madison Square Garden. And um, Owen actually ended up winning the match. And uh, he ended up eliminating uh, Fatu, formerly known as Rikishi. And uh, it's actually uh, recorded um, within Wikipedia, at least. Not actually live broadcast. But, um, yeah. yeah. That would have been a cool thing to include on the DVD. Uh, Man. even that was something I had to research because that I wasn't even aware about. I was like, yeah, I I've heard of, I've heard that. I've never seen the match though. Yeah, there there's been photos leaked. Um, I I've seen a couple photos. Um, it's interesting just to see where uh, that would have led up to. Like that's that's one of those cool like obscure facts that not many people know. Uh, I mean, all I, right. yeah. Next question. So Owen Hart, he's been known for many nicknames without within his career. Um, when he first started, he actually started wrestling um, in the United Kingdom. Um, he was actually wrestling in the Royal Albert Hall. What was his nickname back in 1983-84? I honestly have no fucking clue. <laughs> Uh, it actually was Bronco Owen Hart. Not sure why, but, you know, kind of threw me off guard as well. But I was like, okay, kind of uh, interesting the way to uh, start off your career while um, still attending the university at the same time, you know, because he was still going to school. Um, I think he wanted to become a firefighter, so, um, or I think he wanted to become a teacher as well. It was like one of those two. And, uh, basically where he started off his career. All right. Um, next question. Um, one of Owen Hart's last dark matches took place May 16th of 1999. He would end up getting a win over a future Hall of Famer who would later go on to debut that year. Who was that opponent? Okay, let's see. 1999, future Hall of Famer. I, this was probably like a week before his death. Yeah. Ooh, 1999. I'm sifting through all the Hall of Famers that debuted in 1999. Oh, man, who could it have been? 99. Fuck. What year did they go in the Hall of Fame? 2017. That doesn't help much. I didn't watch the 2017 Hall of Fame. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. That's the year Kurt Angle went in. But who the hell else went in? Oh, man. I don't know. Just tell me. I'm going to be pissed when you well, tell me. If it makes you feel better, you just mentioned his name. I just mentioned his name. You, you just did, like, <laughs> a little while ago. Who the hell did I mention? Uh, all right. <laughs> Kurt Angle. 1999. Kurt, Kurt Angle, yeah. yeah. He debuted. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. Never mind, yeah. 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 Damn it. So, so around that time, um, I think he was wrestling down. I think it was like Jerry Lawler's like promotion, and uh, that's where he was like really getting his start. 
And then obviously later on, he would get trained on by Dory Funk's uh, gym, obviously, well, there's superstars. And, uh, you know, obviously hurting with high praise because he learned it that quick. So, um, yeah, he ended up one of his first televised debuts. He actually debuted, I think it was like March or April of 99. And um, it was actually during a segment with Tiger Ali Saint and um, Kurt Angle was sitting in the front row. And uh, I guess he disrespected the flag. Kurt Angle basically wailed on him. And that was basically the last time we saw him until obviously the vignettes came up late 99. And um, he basically squished uh, Sean Stasiak into uh, going back to WCW. So, yeah. The problem, and, uh, from what I, uh, yeah. the, the problem that I occurred there is I was going through 1999 and I had it in my mind 1996 because that's when he won his gold medal. So I'm like, no, not 99. So I fucked the year up. So yeah, that's why I got yeah. that one wrong. Apparently, after the match with uh, him and Owen, I guess Owen ended up going backstage and basically telling everybody backstage like he's a future world heavyweight champion. Well, oh, I mean, so, it didn't didn't take him long to win it, so. Yeah, yeah, so um, definitely high praise for uh, Kurt Angle from probably one of the best technical wrestlers of all time. Um, moving on to the next question. Um, within Owen's career, obviously, he wrestled incognito most of his career as uh, the Blue Blazer. But when he first debuted in the WWE, there was actually an error with his name. Instead of calling him the Blue Blazer, what what was he first known by? I've heard this fact before. Hmm. I remember there was an error. I just can't remember exactly what it was. I don't know. Just tell me. Uh, he was re- he was known as uh, the Blue Angel. Okay. Um, and, and if you guys want to see a match with him under that name, there's actually a good match um, on YouTube. You can actually look up uh, Blue Angel versus Barry Horowitz. Uh, definitely an underrated match, but um, very fast paced, very technical, um, especially for around that time. I think it took place at the uh, uh, the Los Angeles, uh, Los Angeles arena. Um, but, uh, yeah, he, he wrestled under that name for a little while. Um, and then they ended up just changing it. Uh, they gave him a new mask. I heard his mask was actually, uh, handmade, I believe by his wife until, um, WWE ended up decided to give him a whole new wardrobe. Um, do you remember when um, Jeff Hardy first made his debut? They fucked up his last name. Do you remember what the name they gave him was by accident? Um, I think so. I'm not, I can't really recall. They accidentally called him Jeff Harvey. Oh, Jeff. Oh, okay. Yep. I did. Yep. Uh, that was, uh, yikes. Like Definitely 93, nice. 94. Yeah. All right. So my last question here. Um, for a while, Owen spent some time um, in Japan. And uh, he ended up winning the uh, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. What made that title reign or that victory, however, uh, um so special. Only world title? Well, um, I mean, is that your final answer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what actually made that IWGP title reign um, so special, he was actually the first non-Japanese superstar to hold the uh, IWGP okay. when you were yeah. heavyweight. So. Um, yeah, uh, so you got, what was it, 
three, yeah, like three out of five. You, oh. you have to roll a right? Yeah. Yep. On a, on a Royal I would Rumble. actually, I, I'd like to see that match. Let me see. You got that one right. You got. No, you I, think I, got, the, I think I got two right. First yeah. and last. All right. Yeah. So two out of five. Um, I'm well, pissed about the I'm pissed about the Kurt Angle one. I should have gotten that. It's like you said his name, and I'm just sitting there. I'm like, oh god, dude, you got it. Like. <laughs> oh god. All right. Well, I I guess I uh. I guess I won. <laughs> yeah, you did. No, uh, you know, extreme overtimes like uh, last oh, time. Lord. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. We're going to try to do another one next week as well, if we have the time. And um, we'll see uh, what topics we can come up with next time. So, link will be in the